I am James Davey. I am the creative lead and the CEO, I suppose, of the Midnight World. And I was responsible for managing the product across the finish line. Uh, the Midnight World is a, what we think is a new take on the horror TTRPG genre. Uh, we love a lot of the horror games that exist today, but we specifically wanted something that felt more uh, authentic in the way that it approached trauma and the way that trauma has a, a long lasting effect on the psyche of the people who experience it. Uh, we just, we wanted to really press that angle. Uh, we both, um, my, my brother and I, Jim, who co-developed the game with me, uh, are combat veterans who suffer complex PTSD. And we wanted to be able to offer a tool to players and storytellers who wanted to include um, sort of dives into what that is like in a respectful manner. We don't, we don't want players to feel the way that their characters feel, obviously. But what we do want is for there to be some system in place that describes how it feels to be anxious. We wanted to be able to replicate the feelings of anxiety in a way that was both respectful to sufferers and also uh, as authentic as it could be. So we started spitballing uh, and we came up with a bunch of different systems for how we wanted this to look. And Jim actually was the one who came up with the midnight clock. When we developed the midnight clock, that was when we realized this isn't just a, a fun add on. This is a whole game and, and it deserves for us to make a, a, whole, a whole book about it. This is a game fundamentally about horror. It is a game about a, a group of people being placed into a situation that will likely overwhelm them, will likely overstimulate them, and at the root of it will be something that they are not prepared psychologically to handle. You know, sort of the core philosophy of this game when we were designing it is that a group of friends should be able to sit down on a Saturday night and one person should be able to say, you know, I think I want to tell a story. And the rest of those people should be able to say, you know, I think I want to play in a story. And that should be all you need. And we think that we've done a very good job of giving the director everything they need from that starting point of developing a full story with a fleshed out um, antagonists and those antagonists' goals and everything that they need to, to tell the story from there. Uh, one of the things that we've approached from our standpoint as having been longtime gamers, uh, we hate the idea of a character that you've poured a lot of your energy and a lot of your time into and you just have that character taken away from you because you had a few bad rolls. We despise that. What we've done instead is we allow for different options of what may happen when your character hits zero health. And you as the player get to decide what, what happens from there. Uh, you may choose to just fall to the floor and for the rest of the combat your character sits out and you go grab a drink real quick while everybody else finishes the combat. And then your character pops back up but they have a debilitating wound that they have to learn how to live with, like their, their arm has been ripped off or they've been blinded uh, and there are rules for, for these things. Uh, another option they may have is to make a deal with whatever it is that knocked them to the ground in the first place. Characters may not understand what's being asked of them and they may decide that they want the character to die. This is a good moment for my character to die, in which case all of the characters around them um, enjoy a sort of heroic moment that you describe as the player of this character about how they give their lives for this cause. And then all of the characters have mechanical benefits for having experienced that. I, I've got to tell you guys, the Velvet Lodge is blowing me away. Uh, ab above and beyond just what I think of the story, there is nothing that I can describe to you like what I've experienced tonight. I, I am a guy with an idea just like everybody. I am just a nerd who, who, who enjoyed this thing that I made. And I came here tonight and I watched these professional players and these amazing costumes and these this set and these props that were put together. And this is the culmination of my dream, my dream you know, I, on the one hand, you'd think my dream came true the first time I held the book in my hand, and to a certain extent, sure. But seeing people enjoy my game, 
is literally a dream come true. It's, it's above and beyond anything I could have ever hoped to experience. But then watching the story that was put together and uh, trying really hard throughout the entire shoot not to yell out loud when certain moments happened. If you could just have had a camera back there to see how much of that night I spent like this, it was all of it, it was all of it. Um, I have been, uh, you know, tonight is the night where I finally feel like it's been worth it. <laughs>